Hey Internet, Ark speaking, here with a quick little tutorial on how to install the Rebalance Pack version 3.0 on a homebrewed or a pre-modded Wii. First, go to the correct file, I have them all nice and neatly aligned here. Now the Rebalance mod comes with three different versions and these are for depending on which region you are. Don't mind these extra ones, these are older builds. If you live in Europe, you're going to be going with the PAL version. If you live in North America, you're going to be going with the NTSC U version. And if you live in Japan, you're going to be going with the NTSC J version. Since I'm from the States, I'll be using the NTSC U version. Next up, extract the file by right clicking and clicking extract all. Make sure that the path set is proper. This uh, path is actually exactly right here. So it's just going to dump it out. It's going to take a little bit. The file size for this mod pack has gotten ridiculously big since the last update. We've added a lot of new stuff. Now, because I clicked show extracted file when I was extracting it, it shows up here. But as you can see, the file that we've extracted is right here. You're going to open it up. You might have to open it up twice and you're going to go down to the area where it says revolution stat mod and the readme file. Now this is only going to work if you have a homebrew channel. So make sure that you install homebrew first. There's plenty of great tutorials out there. What you're going to do now is you're going to copy and paste the revolution and stat mod file to your SD card. My SD card, as you can see, is a little bit messy, but all you got to do is click on an empty spot right here and click on the paste button. If you click on something else, you won't see that option. So make sure you click on a blank spot. Click paste, and now it's going to copy everything over to your SD card. Now keep in mind the rebalance pack is about 600 to 700 megabytes large. So make sure that you have at least about a gigabyte of space to put all of the stuff in. It normally warns you if you don't have enough space, but just keep that in mind. Now the rebalance mod uses something called revolution, which is a add-on or an extra application that is ran through homebrew. It's a little confusing. Revolution is a patcher that replaces files to the actual game using you know, custom files that you just made. However, it does not replace them. So don't worry about like overriding your actual game file. That will never happen with Revolution. It's just replacing the files every time you load it. So here it's replacing all of these custom files. So these are BRSTMs, these are music files. And the way Revolution works is it will create a separate folder and then it has a Revolution path to that folder. So you need two things. You need the Revolution path and you need the actual file. Now here's gonna say replace the file destination. I already have Revolution installed. But it's always a good thing, just replace the file anyway. So now, Revolution and stat mod. So the stat mod is where all of the files actually are, about 700 megabytes worth. And then in Revolution, you could actually see here as an XML file. You could see here the file name and where it's routing everything to. Really cool. By the way, in case if you haven't installed Revolution, go to the apps folder. There should be an apps folder if you homebrewed your Wii. And what you're going to do is you're going to go to Revolution, go to Weeboo, make sure you go to the right one, and you're going to click download. Click the download Revolution version 1.06, and be sure to save it to a place that you could actually find. And all you're going to do is open it up and copy all the contents from the Revolution over into the apps folder on your SD card. Now I already have it here, but let's just replace that. So that's how you install Revolution. That's actually how you install any homebrew app. You just drop it into the app and make sure that it has the right appropriate XML and icon and all that fun stuff. All right, so first things first, let's turn on the Wii. I have Preloader, so it's going to look a little different than your Wii, but trust me, it's still a normal Wii. I'm gonna insert my SD card and we're going to go to the homebrew page. Next, once you're on the homebrew, you're going to find the Revolution mod. Now you can actually install the Revolution directly to the homepage, which makes it a little easier to access. I always like going through homebrew. Generally, it tends to be a little less buggy. Make sure the SD card is already in and make sure the disk drive, you're going to need a physical copy of Mario Kart Wii. All right, now that you see it all loaded up, the last thing you got to do is enable stat mod inside of the Revolution. If you have this disabled, it's just going to be normal Mario Kart Wii. Make sure that's enabled and then hit launch. By the way, if you want to install what I was talking about earlier, install it to the main menu so that it shows up along with all the other icons. There should be an install button here. You could do that as well. Now, if you did everything correctly, the first thing that you should be able to tell on version 3.0 is that I made a very handy little icon screen to show you which version that you're actually on. Now, I'm going to continue development for the rebalance mod, but as of right now, version 3.0 is the first official build that is neither a beta nor an alpha. This is an actual solid build that you could start playing and downloading right away. By the way, this comes pre-patched with WinFi, so all you gotta do Jump online, start playing against other people, and just to demonstrate that it should come pre-patched with WinFi. It says Nintendo WFC. I probably should change that. You're actually connecting to the WinFi services from Wim and Bean. Pretty cool. Now, the worldwide is gone. We got rid of that so you can't cheat online. However, we have our own custom regionals, so you could play against other people who also have the mod. If you want to play worldwides, be sure to go through regionals, and that's all.
That's how you install the Rebalance Pack version 3.0 or really any subsequent version. Later down the road, it'll use the same process. Thanks for watching. Hope you learned something. Subscribe if you aren't already. I'll see you next time.